Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. You ready for this? You ready for this? How about level 600-ish? How's that? Just ate him whole. I just ate the prognathodon whole. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. Now in case you missed the previous episode, we now have access to a mod for Feed and Grow Fish that basically allows us to play as any creature in the entire game, which is incredible and also spawn like a million of them, which is also incredible. But last time I noticed that we had access to this worm. I think it was called the vampire fish. No, vampire worm. I, I don't know. Vampire leech. Yeah, that thing looks real gross actually. But I thought it would be fun to try it out because it's it's like a sea cucumber, but with really nasty looking teeth. Is this a real thing? Like, I mean, I know leeches are real things, but like, is this really what they, they look like? Because I don't like it. It's making me feel real real uncomfortable. You're, you're freaking me out, man. Those teeth and just it, like no eyes. Do they have eyes? I don't see any eyes. Anyways, let's just play as it. And what I'm thinking is that this thing's probably really hard to, to play as. Oh my gosh, it's so little. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, it jumps. What? I, I, I don't even understand. Seriously? Zero damage? Is this for real? How am I supposed to level up, you guys, if I can't actually eat stuff? Uh, okay. Okay, new plan. New plan. We need to find a fish that is smaller than this thing. The, the vampire leech. What is smaller than a vampire leech? Do you think we can eat this thing? Wak, wak, watuma. It's a watuma. Basically, what I need to do is give myself food that I can eat whole. Because clearly, I cannot eat a starfish because I'm doing literally zero damage. So, okay, let, let's let's resume here. I guess what we could try spawning a a single fish. That's too big. You're way too big. What did we have? The, the Watuma. Nope, you're too big too. Ah, no, don't eat me. Don't eat me. I'm a, I'm a very, very little worm. I'm a helpless little vampire worm. It's so little. You scared me at first, but now you're just kind of adorable. But how do I level this thing up? I want to make this the most powerful leech worm monster ever. Take down the Megalodon. So that thing's too big. What about a, a jellyfish? Can, can we, we can't eat a jellyfish. It's, it's too big. Come here, jellyfish. Stop running from me. Oh, it zapped me. <laughs> that did not work either. Oh no. Do you think I can eat other leeches? Whoa, that's interesting. When I, when I latch on, I'm like, I'm stuck to it, I think. Oh yeah, like I'm stuck to it for a second. That is so weird. So maybe I can get XP by like sticking myself to, to different creatures. I think I can stick myself to this uh, sea urchin here. Let's see, let's try. It's not doing anything. I'm again, I'm doing zero damage. How does this thing work? Okay, so uh, this guy just kind of stinks, but I guess like the leech is supposed to latch on to creatures and absorb their XP, I guess, maybe? Is that the way it's supposed to work? I don't actually know, but we're gonna try. It doesn't do anything when you latch on to the, the starfish. It certainly doesn't do anything when you latch on to a sea urchin, but maybe if we latch on to like this, this nice little crab over here, that could do something, maybe? Come here, crab. I'm just, I'm such a lonely little, little sea leech. It's disgusting. I'm actually pretty fast when I just crawl. I shouldn't jump. I should not jump. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's do this. I died. I instantly died. Okay, Uh, that didn't do anything. So you know what? Actually, what I could do is just spawn like a, a Nautilus, I guess, like a single Nautilus, and then try to latch on to him. Let's see. Huh? Come here. No, come here, you stinky Nautilus. Here we go. There. I'm. No, come back. Come back. It's not. Wait, wait, wait a second. I do see 
there's this little yellow gauge, right? Does that little yellow gauge indicate that I'm sucking the life out of this Nautilus? I don't know. I missed. Come back. Come here. There. It's going up. Hmm. We might be onto something. Maybe. So maybe if I spawn like a much bigger fish. The problem is, is that if I spawn a much bigger fish, it's going to kill me. Oh, Bebos. No. No, 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 no. Don't. don't. No. Bebos. Ah. The Bebos are going to eat me. Get away from the Bebos. Run, you stinky little leech. Run for your life. Ah. Is there. There's. The Bebos aren't even behind me anymore. Okay. I'm totally fine. I'm being way too dramatic. Everything's fine. What I want to do is spawn a big old fish. So like, you think I can spawn like a great white shark and then just latch onto it from behind? Like it won't even notice me, right? I'm not even here. I'm so little. Why are you even bothering trying to eat me? I'm so, so little. Also, I'm underneath the map. Please let me out. No, I, I must attack the great white shark. Did I get him? I, I thought that I got him. There! Oh! Oh, look at the gauge! Look at the gauge! It filled up so fast. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, please don't eat me. Please stop. No! Don't eat me! You ate me. I asked him not to eat me, and he, he ate me. Not cool, great white shark. Not cool. I did see the gauge going up, though, and it went up really, really fast. So, maybe if I spawn, like... Titanticus? Maybe this guy would be good? Oh, it's filling up. Do I just need to keep doing this? Is this basically, I just need to keep attacking him? No, Bebos! Stupid Bebos! Bebos ruins everything for everybody. You're not invited to this party anymore. I'm leaving. This vampire leech is out of here. What? what? I gotta get away from the Bebos. They're not nice. Look at this little guy. He's booking it. I love it. You're awesome. What a cool little creature. Okay, so maybe... Oh, you know what? Actually, we can eat those little colorful bits. It's like the Cheerios of the ocean. Let's go get them. Give me my cereal. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and I have to admit, a lot of times I don't eat breakfast. But don't tell my mom. Give me the pixie dust. Give it to me. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Oh, yes! We're leveling up. We're actually leveling up. This is uh, glorious. I just, I need to get like, yes, level two. Okay. I mean, it's progress, albeit very, very slow progress, but maybe we can actually do damage now. I mean, we are level three and we're getting a little fatter, getting a little chubbier. Can't help but notice. Oh, great white shark. That's the guy that I spawned. Should we go after him again? <laughs> Probably not. It didn't end well the first time. And I gotta say, the Cheerios of the ocean, much easier to eat than a great white shark. But I do wanna figure out what happens when you fill up that yellow gauge. Cause that's got me thinking. Like, maybe you're actually like pulling the XP out of the monster once you fill up that gauge and it gives you like loads of XP. So, I can spawn Megalodon. I could, Prognathodon. Let's do that. There's no way you're gonna see me here. There's no feasible way that you could turn around and find me and immediately eat me, big bully. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm gonna spawn another one and I'm gonna try again. Now this guy is obviously gonna wreak havoc in this world, but that's okay. C can I please bite you? Come on, let me, <gasps> I got him. I, I just leveled up, oh my gosh. I'm leveling up now. I absorbed his XP. That is so cool. This thing is really cool. Do it again. Do it again. Give me all the XP. I filled it up. I filled up my gauge. How did that work? Where did I get that XP from? So what do I do now that I have a full gauge? I actually don't really understand it, to be honest with you. But the Prognathodon does not like it when I latch onto him. He's real mad about that. Uh... Okay, well, this is really strange. This, the, the leech is just such a weird, weird creature. But now that I'm level two, I actually want to see if I can do damage. Let's see if we can actually take out, like, uh, this thing now. What are you doing? Can I do damage? Zero. <laughs> Zero damage. <laughs> ah, that's not going to work. We got to go back to the Cheerios. That was, like, our best bet. Definitely eating cereal in the ocean. 
It's that's the life I've chosen to live as a sea leech, vampire leech. I really want to make this guy work because he seems so cool. He's just so little and vulnerable and so easy to get eaten by big, big monsters. And I don't know why they're going after me. I mean, you know the saying, pick on someone your own size. Clearly, they're not doing that. Hey, Dory, can I try eating you? Don't you dare eat me, okay? We're gonna work this out. I'm latched onto Dory right now, and it's doing nothing. That's really disappointing. So what does the yellow gauge actually do? I gotta check this out, hold up. Where are you, vampire leech? There you are. What does that say? Life steal while being bitten into something alive, drain life and experience from it. So it works exactly the way that I thought it did, but it doesn't really work, if that makes sense. I'm supposed to be gaining XP from these things, but I'm not. That's a little disappointing. Gotta be real. But there is still Cheerios, so let's go get our Cheerios and try getting up to a higher level, and then maybe once we get up to like level five, maybe we can actually start doing some kind of damage. But maybe this guy is actually designed to never do damage. Like he solely relies on the ability to just suck the XP out of other creatures. It's weird. And if it worked the way that it was intended, that would be awesome. But I don't feel like it's working the way that it should. And you know, admittedly, like the vampire leech is, technically not supposed to be playable, but because we have this awesome mod, we can use him. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make the best of it. There we go, level five. Um, I can actually, please let me out. I'm stuck. The camera's all weird. I don't know what's going on with the camera. It's being really, really strange. Let's eat these cereal bits. Give me all the XP. Okay, level six. This should get us to level seven, I would think. Yeah, we're leveling up really fast. So of course the question is, now that we're actually a decent level, can we do any kind of damage? So I need to find like a sea urchin or a starfish. That'd be super cool. Any starfish around here? I don't see any starfish. <laughs> we are level 10 now. Level 11. Look at how fast we're leveling up, holy moly. So like once we actually get to a point where we can start gaining XP, I feel like we'll level up really, really fast, but we first have to make it to that point. And maybe that's the hardest part about being a vampire leech. Okay, so now I need to go find something that I can eat that won't eat me back. So that doesn't mean the prognathodon, which I just saw over there. Yep, yep, there he is. Don't come over here, Proggy. Please, don't come over here. There's a starfish. Let's try this out. Come on, starfish. Zero damage. Continues to do zero damage. So the only way I can level up is by eating Cheerios in the ocean? I don't know about that. I do have to say though, we're leveling up really, really fast, which is nice. I'm stuck. Ah, get me out of here. These things scare me. I like how I can climb stuff too. I didn't realize that I can just climb up these. I don't have to jump up them. That actually makes this whole process a lot easier. I was being kind of dumb before making it a lot harder on myself. So I should be able to just climb up this thing. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Dude, this vampire leech is really cool. Let's just try to make him work. I'm gonna go to level 20 and then we'll try chewing on the starfish again. But like I said, maybe he just can't do damage. Like that's not the way that he's designed, which is a little disappointing. But if you get him to a certain point, if you get him up high enough, maybe he can just eat stuff whole. I mean, he's got a pretty big mouth. Yeah, I'm, I'm latched onto the starfish, but it's not doing anything. So what I could do is I could just spawn like a baby. Let's try a jellyfish. Let's see if we can, can we eat a, nope, can't eat jellyfish. But can I, can I attach myself to the jellyfish? I can, but it's not really doing anything for me. Okay, good to know, good to know. Let's go, I guess, deeper. I'm kind of scared though. I know what's down there at the bottom of the ocean and most of the things down there are not very nice. Ooh, there's Mahi Mahi. They will eat me. They will eat me entirely whole. But I was looking for more magical Cheerios and I can't find any more. So I guess I'm gonna pick a fight with the Mahi Mahi just to see 
if I can get some XP off of this guy. Mahi Mahi, where are you? Why are you hiding from me? I'm the big bad leech. <laughs> Everybody's scared of the leech. Nope, this is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, uh, no, stop. I just give me your life force. Dead. The life of a vampire leech right there in a nutshell. Okay, so I have discovered that with this mod tool, uh, you can actually just level up your creature in an instant. I didn't know that. So now that I do know that, I'm gonna use it. So all I should have to do is press U, shift U, control U, Never mind. You hold L and you press U. <gasps> that was too fast. That was way too fast, but actually amazing. Okay, wait a second. I am now a level 76 mega slug. I mean, vampire leech. What in the world is even happening anymore? Look, oh, that is just awesome looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, Prognathodon, you want to do this, buddy? You want to do this? I, I, I actually don't think I can, I can fight this guy. At least not yet. I cannot believe how quickly you can level up. You hold L and you press U. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Why, why did I even bother with all the other stuff? <laughs> Look at this. I am consuming everything whole. Oh my gosh, this is glorious. Okay, Prognathodon, L let's, let's just see if we do damage at this point. I mean, if we don't do damage at this point, it's safe to say that the Vampire Leech will never do damage. A level 117 size beast. Also, I, my health isn't going up as I level up. That's really bizarre. I guess I have to eat other things to get my health back or like latch onto them. I don't exactly know how it works, but this thing is something else. <laughs> Move around. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, let me try latching on to the star. It 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 didn't do anything. That is amazing. It did zero damage to a to a starfish. Oh no! No, you are gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. I wasn't high enough level to take on the Prognathodon yet. But are you serious? Like being able to level up that quickly in an instant is kind of amazing. So let's go higher. Uh, yeah, just gonna, gonna keep on going here. Uh, sure, how about level 322 in the matter of seconds? Uh, uh oh. My gosh, it's hideous and glorious all at the same time. <laughs> what is this? I love this mod. This is so stinking cool. So uh, I just, oh, I just ate that thing whole. Can I eat uh, Proggy here entirely whole? I don't know if I can actually. He's coming for me. I'm scared. I'm actually still scared of this guy. Oh no. Oh, he's still. He's coming at me. He's attacking me. You're actually attacking me. You really want to do this? All right, let me show you something. You ready for this? You ready for this? How about level 600-ish? How's that? Just ate him whole. I just ate the prognathodon whole. It only took me, you know, being level 584. What? What is even happening anymore? This is amazing. I'm telling you guys, this mod, it's it's unbelievable. So, with the mod, we can do stuff like, for instance, spawn a Megalodon. Let's see if we can, yep, we can eat a Megalodon entirely whole. So that means that like, we could spawn like all these Megalodons and just eat them all in an instant. Did I really just do that? Did that really just happen? I need to go deeper into the water because <laughs> right now I can't see anything because I can't really zoom out. Oh my gosh, we have to see this in all of its glory. Come on, Vampire Leech. You got this, buddy. Oh, you are just magnificent. You're kind of disgusting, though. But at the same time, 
you're glorious. This is the weirdest thing ever, and it's awesome. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a little bit lower in the ocean. Okay, are we good? Are we good? So let's spawn one Megalodon and just, no, don't do that. He attacked me. Did you see that? What a stinker. He tried to attack me. I, he's, he's attacking me. I don't, I, I, I don't even know where that XP was coming from though. Wait a second. If you latch on and then you hold, that's how it works. I think what you have to do is latch on with left click and then you hold right click to suck up all of the XP. So was I doing this wrong the whole time? I may have been doing it wrong the whole time. So I'll tell you what, I mean, we know that we can get back to this point very, very easily. I mean, look at this. I'm just, I'm spawning like a billion Megalodons and then instantly eating them. <laughs> I'm just holding zero and then holding right click and instantly eating the Megalodons. Although they might kill me. They're attacking. They're going full force attack right now. And um, I think I'm too big. I think I've become too big to to do anything. I, I don't even think I can move. Oh, there we go. Got dislodged. I just... I had to jump. I don't even know what's happening anymore, you guys. This is just ridiculous and amazing. I love this mod. I love it. It is my dearest friend now. <laughs> what else can I say? It's magic. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and kill myself, which I guess all I have to do is press D and X at the same time. Oh, instantly dead giant vampire leech. There you go. Let's go back to being a teeny tiny little baby. Ah, Bebos! Oh, I'll come back for you, Bebos. I will come back for you. I will have my day. No, stop eating me. Seriously, you guys. It's very rude. I'm gonna spawn a Megalodon and, um, uh, oh. Oh, am I s stuck? I'm, I'm in the ground. Oh, this is not good. I can't move. I, uh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta end myself. Try that again. Uh, try not to fall through the map though this time. Basically what I want to do is try this this theory that I have of how to actually use the the leech. Megalodon, you, you got to let me attach myself to you and you're not. You're, you're being very rude about this whole situation. You know what? Let's just do it to the starfish here. Okay, so we leech on and then we hold right click. I hold right click while I'm no, it didn't work. Shoot, I really thought that I was onto something there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. Megalodon, you're being a real knucklehead. You know that? And also like, I'm very confused right now. Everything's turned upside down and it's making my brain hurt. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make myself a little bit higher level. Not enough to kill Megalodon, but just enough to like get to him. Please, let me, let me latch on. Don't leave, don't leave me. Don't leave me, there. No, I, I had it for a second. Come back. Come back. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, let me, let me leech your life away. Why are you not thinking about the leeches? So selfish. Okay, spawn another one. No, oh, I had it for a second. No, come back, spawn another one. No, it pushed me through the ground. Oh, I survived because I somehow latched onto him. Okay, I'm just gonna keep spawning until I figure this out. Okay, I got on. Nope, that it didn't work. It didn't work the way that I thought it would. It's really disappointing. But at the same time, you just do this. Just keep. Oh, I got eaten. I I got I got real badly eaten. I think I spawned too many megalodons up here, and it's getting real dangerous up here. Probably not the best idea in hindsight. Okay, let's level up now that we're out of there, and uh, let's just get ridiculous. No! I... <laughs> it's like I bumped into a Megalodon while I was leveling up. And now they have consumed all of my XP. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Didn't need it. I didn't need it. I can give myself XP instantly. Okay. So I went ahead and I just restarted the map because I kind of broke it by spawning all those Megalodons. But I was thinking like now we've already experienced life as the Vampire Leech. But what we can do as well is we can spawn like an army of giant level, I don't know, 500 vampire leeches 
Did I pass it? There you are, Vampire Leech. Okay, so basically I can set the level right here and I can just get real, real crazy with it. So I'm just gonna take this up to probably level 500 and then uh, I'll get back to you guys before we start spawning an army of giant vampire leeches. Now, why would we do something like this? Well, simply the answer is why not? I love this stuff. So uh, let's do it. Okay, level 500. So let's go a little bit deeper into the ocean here. And uh, there's, no, that's a great white shark. So you know what? Let's just see what happens if I spawn one right here. Let's see if uh, they get into a, a bit of a battle here. Gosh, that is horrifying. That is, it, it's like an alien just made its way onto our planet and is now taking over. Are you gonna, are you guys gonna do anything or? Okay, the shark, oh, he ate him. He just ate that great white shark. Okay, yeah, vacuumed him right up. So if I do like this, I just spawned four of them in an instant. Oh gosh, that is terrifying. They are taking over the ocean. I'm gonna spawn four more of them. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna spawn four more of them over here. And we're just gonna spawn a whole bunch of them over here. And, uh, oh buddy. Oh, oh, you think this is scary? Look at this. Look, look at my, my little army here. What do you think of my, my army of giant sea monsters? Yeah, those are giant vampire uh, fish. Leeches, I don't even know. Nothing makes sense anymore. The Megalodon is definitely attacking one of them. Are the are the leeches gonna fight back? I mean, at level 500, they should be able to eat this guy whole, right? He's trying. He's trying to get these guys, but I don't know. This is just, this is weird. Maybe they can't eat the Megalodon. <laughs> these guys just flopping around. They don't know what to do with themselves. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. Let's break the game. We're gonna spawn a lot. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I better stop, I better stop. Let's get out of the ocean here and just uh, see what we've created. Oh, there's there's meat flying in the sky, so there's that. Um, yeah, th th that's, uh, that's a thing. That's a thing that, that happened when I held down the zero key for too long. I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of horrifying. Yeah, but guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We definitely tried our best to play as the vampire leech in a legitimate way. It's just, he's not designed to, to like survive in this world. But when you cheat, no problem. Make yourself level 1000 and then just start swallowing Megalodons entirely whole because why not? Always the answer. So guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.